Hi, welcome to TMC and today we're looking at this Ford Ranger finished in black. I'm going to do a walkaround of the vehicle and show you some key features, details and cosmetics. Starting off on the bonnet because we're going to look for any minor defects such as scratches, dents and stone chips. As you can see here there are a couple already that we're picking up on. A scratch here and a stone chip there. Another scratch here. And some more stone chips down the front here as well. side here, looking really good, little scrape just there, up and over, looking nice and tidy, and then the first alloy here, we're going to look at the set today, but that's just the first one we're stopping on, coming across the front here, looking at the grill, you can see that's good, you've got no cracking in there at all, and I think, yes, yeah, down here, it's a scratch just down there, it has been filled in, but it is there, and then these chips just there as well, coming across the lower bit of the bumper here, do I have a scratch just down here? And then there as well. Again, finishing off where we were. Some scratches just here. As you can see just there. And the second alloy here looking really good as well. Just another slight scrape there. Here and here. Do have a ding there as well, as you can see some chips around here. I'm going to open this up and have a look inside now. There we are, inside of the passenger door, some scrapes down here. Some scratches on the dashboard there. And then a rip just here. Really normal in Ford Ranger so to have a rip in seats. Uh, it's just from day to day use getting in and out of the vehicle. Happens in about 9 out of 10 of them. There's one on the driver's side as well that we will get to later. And the scratch just around here. Chip just there. Opening this up, having a look inside. Some scratches in there as well. Well, some sort of wear in there, I guess. The rear is the front passenger seats. The rear passenger seat there. And here. Scratch just on the rear here and here, and some more scratches at the back. You got some up here, from there we go, just there, and then back here as well. And there, some more scratches on the rear, went down some one here, and then here as well, just over there, and then there we are, alloy. The third one that we're looking at, looking really good as well. Onto the rear bumper here. Good too. And then onto the tailgate, do have some scratches at the top here. Some chips too, scratch down there. And scratches here as well. So we'll look at the top here as well, because you've got some dings and some scratches, but none too major, although that does see the major bit. Brunt of action on the pickups. Just got the roll top on here as well. Scrape just here at the back. Scratches here just by the 4x4 badge or sticker, sorry. Just a chip down here. Scrape just here on the rear wheel arch. And over there, and a scratch just at the back here. As you can see. And then the alloy here as well, looking nice and that's the extent of the scratch on the rear rear arch there the top here down, got a scratch just there just here rear of the driver's seat there nice and tidy and the rear seat here, there's some markings on this one as you can see Driver's door, some markings down here from I imagine car parks, opening their doors into other vehicles and other vehicles opening onto this vehicle. Some scratches around here above the handle. There's that rip in the range seat, but again, happens to about nine out of ten of them, so not uncommon at all. Flip the engine on now, have a look, it should say 61,000 miles, up down here. 
there we go, 61,000 miles. Obviously, the handbrake lights are on, just pop that down so you can see all the lights are out. Then, here we go, if we pop to entertainment, here you can see you do have DAB. Then, pop it back here, clicking on navigation now. Oh. And there we go, navigation, pop in home. Do have Bluetooth connectivity, we just click that, see what that's like at the moment. So, you do have iPhones already connected, but they can be disconnected quite easily, and obviously the climate control as well. Do have working AC in here, we're just going to pop that on. There we go, and heated front seats both left and right. We're going to pop the manual here into reverse so you can see the rear parking sensors. Also, as I mentioned just now, it is manual as well. And there we go.